Hey guys, welcome back to Sean Does DIY. So I was looking for a way to store the bandsaw and the drill press out of the way when I'm not using it, but then I can just bring them out in the shop when I do need to use them. So I came up with this cart. Uh, it's got tons of storage, obviously rolls. There's a power built into it. Uh, you know, I got these drawers in here where I can store, you know, various drill bits and things like that. The other side's got a cabinet for whatever I want to put into it. Let me show you what I did. Let's get started. I started off by ripping a 4x8 sheet of plywood to cut the pieces for the cabinet. Next, I gave all the pieces of the cabinet a quick sanding. Before I can assemble the cabinet, I need to drill a whole bunch of pocket holes. With all those pocket holes drilled, now it's time to assemble the cabinet. I glued and tacked all the pieces together using brad nails. With the cabinet all tacked together, I tightened it all up with pocket hole screws. Yep. Well, I cut them too short. Cut the uh, cut the middle piece of 16th too short. I wasn't even paying attention. Same with the drawers or the shelves. I mean, so that sucks. <laughs> oh man. Oh well. I mean, it's just staying in a go nowhere. I'll recut the uh, little shelves here, so at least they look all right. <laughs> Derp, idiot. Pay attention. All right. Bomber. Where am I put this thing? Alrighty. Get over there. Man. Hate it when that happens. I haven't got the plans right here. Okay. Yep, shucky, shucky, shucky. Well, we got some pieces here that I can use. Yeah. Could be 17 and 7 sixteenths. What the hell did I cut it to? By nine and a half. Well, it's gonna have to be this kind of crappy wood. Crappy, not crappy, but not as nice. Whatever. Whatever. All right. Bummers. All right. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Make sure I put this thing together right, I guess, huh? All right, they go on over here. 17. Yeah, that sucks. 17 and nine sixteenths. Why do I have 17 and seven sixteenths on there? I cut that to my plan size, but I wrote it down wrong. Bomber. All right, nine sixteenths, that's a, 
That's a big difference. Now that I cut the shelves to the correct dimensions, I can get them installed. Now it's time to install the wheels so we can get this bad boy rolling and test it out. Pretty cool. Make it work. I'm not bolted down, so I'm trying not to knock them over. I think that'll work. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yep. All right. I'll get to all that. Spinning around. Time to build some drawers. I'm using half inch plywood to make all the drawers.
with all the drawer pieces cut, I glued and assembled them using brad knives. I marked and drilled pilot holes for the drawer slides and attached them using the screws that came with them. With the drawers built and installed, all that's left to do is cut the drawer faces. I marked where I wanted the finger slot and cut it out on the bandsaw. Then I used the bench sander to clean them up.
Using some scrap wood cut to a 16th inch for spacers, I glued and attached the faces with brad nails. I grabbed my small router and notched out the cabinet for the hinges. After I installed the door, I drilled out a hole for a magnet and glued it in place. With the whole thing assembled, I applied some stain to make it all pretty. I thought I was done, but I decided to add a quick scrap wood holder for various drill bits.
ta-da, the mobile drill press, bandsaw, rolling cabinet, cart thing, whatever you wanna call it. I gotta tell you, I'm extremely happy with the way this turned out. I got tons of storage. I mean, I got drawers that are empty that I haven't put anything into yet, so uh, it's gonna be great. Hopefully, I just don't fill it up with a bunch of junk. But yeah, so hey, if you like the video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. If you wanna subscribe, that'd be pretty sweet too. Hey, don't forget, the plans will be on the website, link in the description below. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.